God allowed the water to go back to its position and it consumed all the the the, the children of Pharaoh, the chariots and their horsemen and all of them died and their carcasses laid what was laid on the seashores of the Red Sea. We also looked at the children, the 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 Hebrew uh, the Hebrew boys who were in Babylon. That is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and also Daniel. The challenges they went through in Babylon, but God delivered them. Number three was about Lot. Lot was a relative to Abraham, and God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But him, he became a demon of himself. God gave him instructions to follow, but Lot did not follow them. He told him, run to the mountain, do not look back. But Lot did not want to go to the mountain. He said, let me go to the plains. The wife looked back. She became a pillar of salt, of which I was thinking, and I said, maybe this pillar of salt is this that flows to... Like Magadi, this is now we are using we're using today. That is the maybe the wife of Lord who became the pillar of soul. And it is a joke. Today we are going to look at Jonah. God had a good plan for the for his children who were in Nineveh. And he sent Jonah to go and save them. But Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh, he went to Tarshish. I want us to read from the book of Jonah, 1 to 3. Jonah 1, the word says, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. He went, instead he went down to Tarshish to hide there. Why did Jonah go to Tarshish and did not want to go to Nineveh, where the Lord had dedicated him to go? It is because Jonah says in uh, Jonah 4 verse 2, he says, So he, so he prayed to the Lord and said, Ha, Lord, ha, Lord was not this what I said when I was still in my country. Therefore, I, I fled previously to Tashis, for I know that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and abundant in, love, in loving kindness, one who relents from doing harm. Hallelujah. Jonah did, ha did not have good intentions to this, uh, the people who were living in Nineveh. God says that these people were wicked, and their wickedness was because they did not know God. At the end of the uh, Jonah chapter 4, it says, And should I not pity Nineveh, that great city in which are more than 120,000 persons who cannot discern between their right hand and their left, and a much more livestock. Hallelujah. In Amanisha, these people in Nineveh, they did not know, know God. It is because of ignorance. Maybe no one had not had gone to Nineveh to tell them about God. Wangekua wa may repent. That is why God told Jonah, go to Nineveh and preach to them, for I have seen the wickedness in Nineveh. Go preach to them. These children will turn to me. They will repent. But Jonah did not want these people to repent. So he went down to Tarshish because he knew God is a merciful God. These people, if they hear the gospel of God, they are going to change and they will come to God. He decided to go to Tarshish. God did not send Jonah to Tarshish. So Jonah 
because of self-interest. Maybe he was a jealous man. He was proud. He decided to go to Tarshish so that God can kill these people and all of them go to hell. The difference we see from uh, Jonah and uh, Lot, Lot was told to flee to the mountain so that he will be safe with his family. But he went to the plane because of his, maybe he, he was jealous also. Yani he had that self-interest. He knew that in the plains, things are out. Money is there. Maybe livestock, his livestock will feed. So he did not want to go to the mountains. But God has a good plan for us all. Hallelujah. Amen. Jonah, because Jonah wanted children of God to go to hell, God decided, now, I will create a, a fish. He fish, it amazed Jonah. And Jonah will have that experience of hell. Because Jonah says in chapter 2 that when he... He was in the belly of the of the fish. It was like he was in the belly of Sheol. Hallelujah. Jonah says he was in the belly of Sheol. Meaning he was in hell. There in hell, he also exp he had that experience of hell. Let's say like uh, Mami Linda. She went to hell for 72 hours. She had that experience of hell. And when she came back, ile tabia yote alikuwa nao ya udunia, aliwacha na akaanza kumu, kumtangaza Yesu. Because she knew the pain in hell. Now Jonah here, God also wanted him to experience how painful she all is that he will not even wish the children of God to go there. Hallelujah. I want us to, re to read Jonah 2. Verse 2, then 5 and 6. It says, and, and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. Verse 5. The waters compassed me about, even to the soul. The depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the, to the bottoms of the mountains, the earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. Hallelujah. The way Jonah describes this place, it is like he was in a deep, deep, uh, the belly of hell. He experienced hell, how hot it is, how that place was not peaceful. So that when he cried, the Bible says that he cried and even he repented his sins. And, God, and then God allowed him to come back. Hallelujah. This is, imagine God heard the cry of Jonah and he saved Jonah from the belly of the fish. It is not like God was so much interested in Jonah. It is because God remembered his children who were in Nineveh. He said, if I destroy these people, they were 120,000 people and their livestock. He will, he will not destroy these people 120,000 because of one person. He could have destroyed Jonah. But because of the seed God had put in Jonah's life, he wanted to save Jonah so that Jonah will also go save the children of God that were in Nineveh. Hallelujah. Amen. How many times has God told us to do something? But you know, God is not, is not only interested that God is not interested in you alone. He's interested in those people that he will use you to save. Hallelujah. For Lord, God did not... May you have grace upon me so that I will go and stay in the plains. Your request is granted. It is because he was a, a one person with the, with the family. But here... Jonah Mungu wange grant that permission aende Tashis kuka huko. It was the time for Jonah to go to Nineveh and not Tashis. God is the one who created Tashis also. But he, he, that time, God is a time of, God is a God of seasons. That time was not the time for Jonah to go to Tashis. It was time for him to go to Nineveh to save the children of God who were there, who were going to perish. Hallelujah. Amen. And also God knows the hearts of men. In Sodom and Gomorrah, God did not give them chance to repent or to pray, but because God knew their hearts, he knew even repent, they will not repent. But for these children in Nineveh, if I send my servant there, 
na aende pale awahubirie watatubu watakuja kwangu haleluya so god knows each and every one of us that is why he did not allow jonah to perish in in that sea but he allowed him to live so that he will go and accomplish the task that he had given him after jonah had been now vomited by the fish and um, on a dry land god did not abandon his mission still he told jonah now arise and go to Nineveh. Jonah could complain because he knew who God is. God is a God of, of wrath and his plans cannot be thwarted by anyone. Hallelujah. God's plan cannot be thwarted by anyone. Jonah went to Nineveh. He preached there. The people were saved. The people, in fact, they cried. The Bible says that when he preached, everyone went to fasting, even the livestock in Nineveh. I want Kukula for three days. I want us to read from um, chapter 3 of Jonah. Chapter 3 of Jonah from verse 1. To, I will stop you somewhere. To make sure. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For what came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. Hallelujah. You see, all of them, they went into fasting. They cried unto the Lord, and the Lord of heaven heard them, and he saved them. Hallelujah. So the plans of God cannot be thwarted. You cannot corrupt God to fit into your, into your self-desires. Hallelujah. You cannot. Maybe you, you wanted something, Kabisa. Mungu amekwambia, stop this thing and do this thing. You go and do it. Badae, you suffer the consequences. Samson was told by, he asked his parents that he wanted to go and marry Delilah. And the parents asked him, don't we have daughters here in, in this city? Why are you going to marry the, the Philistine woman? And then he said, I have loved her. So the woman was brought to, to Samson. But I, the Philistines, Samson. They wanted to, they, they even gorged his eyes. He could not see anymore. This is a great servant that God has had brought up. Samson knew that there is no marrying of Egypt uh, from the Egyptian or from those people that were not saved because he was a Nazarite. He is a child of the kingdom, but he went ahead and married from, from the Philistines who were the enemies. And God raised Samson so that he may pursue the Philistines. He may kill them that the children of Israel may be free. But him, he went and married from, from the Ethans. Now they were after him. Hallelujah. He cried unto the Lord. Of course, God granted him a, 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 some opportunities. He killed... The, okay, God couldn't have allowed Samson to die early because Samson alikuwa on mission. He allowed him and then alienda katingisha your building all those people that died. That was the mission of uh, Samson. Hallelujah. So Samson fulfilled his mission and he also died. Mungu wakua na haja sana na Samson. Alikuwa na haja na watoto wake. Even you, Jonah, God has a purpose with you. That you are now in a belly of the fish. God is going to save you. But it's not because of you. It is because of that thing that God has put in your life. He's going to save you so that you can fulfill his mission. You have repented and God has heard your cry from above. He's going to, to save you so that you may fulfill the mission of God in your life. Because if he allows you to die now, you are going to die and no one is going to save the children, 
that he had said that huyu nikimweka hapa Susan ndiye atawasave akiua Susan sasa hii Susan hataweza ku fulfill the mission of God the mission of God will not be fulfilled because God takes time to raise his own servant hallelujah amen so God saved Jonah Jonah went and saved the and they preached to the children of of Nineveh and then Jonah pia yani binadamu ni watu wa kusahau sana Jonah cried when he was in the belly but after now he has come out he has preached the word chapter 4 inatuambia Jonah hakuwa na amani alikuwa amekasirika tu yani he was so angry to God mpaka akaenda sasa anataka alikaa akingoja aone Mungu atafanya nini huko Nineveh God akamwambia vile Lord God raised a plant it came it came it and then the wind came uh, it was on a, 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 a span of one day the wind came it could dry up it, the worm came ate the tree it could dry up wakati it dry up John akasikia vibaya he said even wacha tanikufe then Mungu akamuuliza kama wewe unasikia hivyo na huu ni mti uko leo na kesho hakuna na mimi watoto wangu wenye ni 120 who could have saved them hallelujah so god has a purpose in your life and he will look at the multitude that is going to save through you he will spare you because of those people and not because of you alone hallelujah amen, amen. and today uh, and also i want us to look at another demon called Jezebel Jezebel wanted to alter the plans of god yes god allowed him to some extent but at the end Jezebel alizimwa kabisa na hakuonekana tena hallelujah I want us to who is this Jezebel I want us to to know who Jezebel is Jezebel is a woman who married a king that is king Ahab of Israel I suppose Ahab was a child of God because he was an Israelite but he married a demon who is Jezebel in his life Jezebel the bible tells us from the book of revelation 2 revelation 2 verse 20 nevertheless i have a few things this is a corrupt church and i want to read from verse 20 nevertheless i have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols from this scripture we can say number one character of Jezebel she was an idol worshipper Jezebel was an idol worshipper Jezebel called herself a prophetess means she was a false prophet hallelujah she was a false prophet inside false prophets we have diviners we have sorcerers we have palm readers astrologers name them there are many so jezebel alikuwa amebeba hii yote she was a false prophet number three, jezebel was a murderer she murdered naboth and also the book of kings inatuambia that the, that uh, she she had killed she had massacred the prophets of god hallelujah that is even to an extent whereby there's a servant one servant of god mwenye alienda akakusanya wale wengine 100 walikuwa wamebaki akawaficha in caves hallelujah so jezebel was a murderer she was also a prostitute she used to 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 seduce the servants of god and that one we will find it uh, uh, apart from here revelation 2 we also find it in the book of uh, second kings 9 verse 30 jezebel alijipaka makeups na akaenda ku seduce the servant of god who was jehu but that was the end of jezebel hallelujah the bible says as we continue to read in chapter 2 verse 21 of revelation 2 and i gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality and she did not repent so jezebel when you pray for jezebel again as jezebel you don't pray for the masses of god for she refused to repent we pray for the judgment of god upon jezebel hallelujah 
Amén. So I want us to look at uh, Second Kings 21 verse 19. Second Kings. Before we, we read that scripture, uh, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, the story before we go to Second Kings 21. Jezebel, the Bible says that she massacred the servants of God. In that time of Ahab, when Ahab was the king. And when she had massacred these servants of God, God told Elijah, to go and, uh, promote, for, uh, and talk to Ahab. And this time, we find that, uh, no, not uh, about this, the, the, you need the prophet. It went, uh, Jezebel killed Naboth. Ahab wanted the, the possession of Naboth. So Naboth said to Ahab, I don't want to give it to you because it is an inheritance that I was given by my fathers. And then Jezebel came up and told Ahab, Why are you so sad? Because of Naboth? Wait, you shall get that inheritance. So, uh, Jezebel, alienda aka, aka, aka fanya vila najua, because she was a woman, mwenye alikuwa na mameno mingi. So, she went and, and, and uh, organized a fast, and prayer and a fast, and then aka yekelea Naboth some things which he did not know. About, and, then, and then that time Naboth died and, and Ahab took over the possession of Naboth. Hallelujah. When we read from 2 Kings 21 verse 19. Okay, I want us to read it. 2 Kings 21, 19 to 29. Can you please? It says, Ammon was 20, was 20 and 2 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned two years in Jerusalem. And What's that, please? It's First Kings 21. Sorry, First Kings 21, verse 19 to 29. The word says, First Kings, verse 19, it says, and thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Hast thou killed and also taken possession? And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, In the place where dogs licked the blood of Naboth, shall dogs lick thy blood, even thine. And Ahab said to Elijah, Hast thou found me, O my, mine enemy? And he answered, I have found thee, because thou hast sold thyself to work evil in the sight of the Lord. Behold, I will bring evil upon thee, and will take away thy prosperity, and will cut off from, from Ahab him that pisseth against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Israel, and will make thine house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and like the house of Baasha, the son of Ahijah, for the provocation wherewith thou hast provoked me to anger, and made Israel to sin. And of Jezebel also spake the Lord, saying, the dogs shall eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Him that dieth of Ahab in the city, the dogs shall eat. And him that dieth in the field shall the fowls of the air eat. But there was none like unto Ahab which did, which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord, whom Jezebel his wife stirred up. And he did very abominably in following idols, according to all things as did the Amorites, whom the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. And it came to pass, when Ahab heard those words, that he rent his clothes, and put sackcloth upon his flesh, and fasted, and lay in sackcloth, and went softly. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Seest thou how Ahab humbleth himself before me? Because he humbleth himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his days, but in his son's days will I bring the evil upon his house. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in verse, 21, uh, verse 25, But there was no one like Ahab who sold himself to do wickedness in the sight of the Lord, because Jezebel, his wife, stirred him up. 
Hallelujah. Jezebel is the cause of every wickedness that Ahab was doing. Jezebel, uh, Ahab was a servant, or, uh, Ahab was an Israelite who married in a wrong way. He brought Jezebel a demon in his life, and this demon, now, like, uh, he could not escape from him. So he started practicing wickedness because of Jezebel. Hallelujah. And now we have seen that God came down and he, start, he now judged, he, he judged them. He, want, he told him that he will clear the whole of his family. Like no seed of Ahab and Jezebel will remain on earth. So he pronounced judgment that he will kill Ahab. Jezebel will be killed. And the, and the dogs shall eat his flesh, her flesh and they lick his blood, so that no remains of Jezebel will, will remain. Hallelujah. And all the children of Ahab and Jezebel shall be killed, so that no one of them will remain. Hallelujah. But because Ahab, he went before God, he repented, and God said that he will not fulfill this in the time of Ahab, but after Ahab had, had died, that is when he will do the other thing. But the judgment still stands, that Ahab at Akufa, then he will wipe out his all his generation. That one did not take long. After three years, Ahab was uh, was killed in battle. That one we will find it in in First Kings chapter twenty two verse twenty nine. From verse twenty nine, Ahab was killed in battle when he went to fight. He was killed there because of time. We will not read it. And after some time, the children of Ahab, 70 of them, died in the same day. And they were killed uh, in 2 Kings 10 verse 7. 2 Kings 10 verse 7. We will read. 10 7, it says, and it came to pass, when the letter came to them, that they took the king's sons and slew seventy persons and put their heads in baskets and sent him them and sent him them to Jezreel. Hallelujah. All seventy of them died at in, on the same day, and their heads were put in a basket, sent them to Jezreel. It is this was the task that Jehu was given to slay all of them. So Jehu fulfilled what he was told. And then Jezebel also was killed. That is in 2 Kings 9 verse 30. Uh, let us read uh, verse 30, 35. The word says, And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. Continue, please. Wherefore they, they came again and told him, and he said, This is the word of the Lord which is spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, In the portion of Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel, and the carcass of Jezebel shall be as done upon the face of the field in the portion of Jezreel, so that they shall not say, This is Jezebel. Hallelujah. So Jezebel also died. The word of God was fulfilled. The 70 sons died. Ahaziah, the son of Athaliah, who was the daughter of Jezebel, was also killed. And his 42 brothers also were killed. That is in chapter 10, verse 12. Chapter 10, verse 12. 10, 12. And he arose and departed and came to Samaria. And as he was at the shearing house in the way, Jehu met with the brethren of Ahaziah king of Judah and said, Who are ye? And they answered, We are the brethren of Ahaziah. And we go down to salute the children of the king and the children of the queen. And he said, Take them alive. And they took them alive and slew them at the pit of the shearing house, even to, even to and forty men, neither left he any of them. Hallelujah. And the rest of Ahab's family was also killed. If we continue reading verse 15 to verse 17, we will see that the, the rest of the family was killed. Even the worshippers of Baal, who used to worship with uh, Jezebel, they were also killed. None of them remained. 
When we read chapter 11, Athalia, she was the daughter of Jezebel. Now she was worse than her mother. Hallelujah. Athalia, after Jehu died, Jehu is the one who, were, who was killing all these people. After Jehu died, and Athalia realized, uh, uh, knew that his son, who was the king, as I don't so died, Ahaziah, he took over the kingship. He took, how did it, how she, did she take over the kingship in is in Israel? She killed all the children who were the royal heirs of David. He destroyed all of them except one who was called Joash, and he was a small boy that was hid by he was hid by by one of the servants of God called Jehoiada. He's, he hid this child in the temple. Hallelujah. So this one was the only boy who remained. But Jezebel cleared the whole, all the heirs that were, were the royal heirs that will take uh, the leadership of, uh, of Israel. So now Athalia sat on the throne of Israel. Hallelujah. She ruled for some time until Joash was six years old. And then Jehoiada, the priest, also organized for Athalia, and Athalia was killed, and Joash took over. Hallelujah. None of Jezebel, none of uh, uh, none of Jezebel's children remained alive. All that was called the seed of Jezebel was destroyed, and none of them remained. Hallelujah. God did not want the seed of Jezebel because Jezebel was a very the seed of Jezebel was corrupt. We have seen that Athalia was more corrupt than the mother. Hallelujah. So if when someone is wicked, there is nothing good that will come from, from that person. Hallelujah. So when God tells you, do this, just follow the word of God. Because God is the God who sees the future of everything. If you go against God and marry Jezebel or do something which is not pleasing God, you will suffer. Hallelujah. You are on earth, but you are suffering. It's like you are in hell. But God is a gracious God and a merciful God. He has said, if you call unto me, I will save you. Tonight, I want us to go before God and pray that we shall, we shall be at the right time, at the right place, doing the right thing at the right time. Hallelujah. I want us to go uh, to arise to rise up and pray that prayer. Go before the Lord and pray that you will not mess up in your life, that the Lord will hold your hand and you shall live according to the word of God, that you will not live like Jonah in the mighty name of Jesus. Go before the Lord, pray as we wait for Mkata to take over. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, tonight we worship you and we adore you, my God. We pray, Jesus, that you shall guide us tonight, my Father, that we will not live, my Father, as, as Jonah lived, that we shall be at the right time at the right place, O Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You told Jonah to go to Nineveh and not to Tashis, my God. And he went to Tashis. That is when my father, you rose up, my God, and, and I commanded the fish to commanded the fish, my father, to swallow him. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that we will not be swallowed by the fish. We will not learn from you in a hard way, O God. Oh God, we worship you and we adore you, my God. Help us to be obedient to your word, my God. Help us to obey your word, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Direct our steps tonight, my God. Direct our ways tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take over, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, take over tonight, my God. Take over, King of glory tonight, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Guide our steps, oh God. That we may be at the right place at the right time, my God. Doing the right things, oh Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We worship you and we are you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and believe. Amen. 
I want us to go before the Lord, pray against the spirit of Jezebel. Approve the seed of approve Jezebel and his seed. Let us pray that God, the Jezebel, in, if there is any Jezebel in this ministry, God shall destroy him or her and our seed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we arise again as Jezebel in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, Lord, that you shall destroy the seed of Jezebel. In the mighty name of Jesus, we destroy Jezebel and our seed. We destroy Jezebel tonight and our seed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anything of Jezebel in this ministry, we destroy it tonight. That he can China like yes. There are many there are many my father people that Jezebel has led to divination. We destroy the power of divination. We destroy the power of Jezebel. We destroy the power of sorcery in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God tonight, we are put Jezebel. We are put a seed. We are put the seed of Jezebel tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We silence Jezebel tonight. That he Pray for the judgment of God upon Jezebel. We pray for the judgment of God. The judgment of God upon Jezebel. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the judgment of God. Judgment of God upon Jezebel in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever you are hiding, we pray tonight that the Lord shall slay you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the God shall eat your blood. The God shall eat your flesh. That you can cheat on us tonight, oh God. Take over my glory. I put Jezebel from this ministry. I put Jezebel from our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, my stop dancer. Oh God, I put Jezebel. I put tonight. I put her and I seed. I put her and I seed. Let no one remain tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let no one remain tonight. The seed of Jezebel. We destroy it tonight. We destroy Jezebel and the seed. We destroy Jezebel and the seed. In the mighty name of Jesus, my stop dancer. Oh God, take over my God. Destroy tonight. Jezebel, destroy our seed tonight. We destroy it. We destroy it by the power of the Holy Ghost. We destroy Jezebel and our seed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we destroy it by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. I also want us to go before the Lord. Pray that whatever he has not planted it in this ministry, he shall have put it in the mighty name of Jesus. And then whatever he has planted here, he shall also he shall also water it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us have put every planting that is not of God in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, tonight we have put any planting that is not yours here. Any foreign thing in this ministry, we have put it tonight. We have put the planting of Jesus. We are put anything, my God, that you have not planted here in the mighty name of Jesus. We are put that one which is not yours. We are put that one which is not yours in the mighty name of Jesus. That one which is not supposed to be found in real. We are put it tonight. Tonight, 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 anything that is not of God, anything that is not to be found here, my God, I put it, I put it tonight. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we are put it tonight. We are put anything that is not of God in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are put diviners tonight. We are put witches tonight. We are put poverty tonight. Any sin that is not of God in this ministry, we are put it. Even any insect that is not of God, we are put it in this ministry. We are put cockroaches. We are put kungunis. In the mighty name of Jesus, even my father rats, we are put them from this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are put names that are not of God in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are put the spirit of stagnation. We are put every powers of darkness. We are put demons in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, tonight we pray for exposure. Expose my God, that one which is not yours. Expose their missions. Expose them, oh God. I put them tonight. I 
approve them tonight, my God. Approve them tonight. That one which is not yours. Approve it, oh God. Approve it tonight, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we approve that one which is not yours tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God, come and take over tonight. Come and take over Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My Father, my God, rescue your children, my God. Rescue your church from the hands of Jezebel. Rescue my father, you have to attach your glory. Approach it, my father. Approach every powers of darkness. Deliver your children tonight, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for deliverance tonight. We pray for deliverance tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you glory tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to pray against this wickedness. First prayer point is to pray that let their ways be dark and slippery. Let their ways be wicked be dark and slippery. And also pray again according to Isaiah 49, verse 25. That God will shall pursue our pursuers and fight our fighters. That you shall set the captives free tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, we pray again as wickedness in this ministry, my God. We pray again as wickedness in our lives, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your word says, my Father, that their way shall be shall be slippery, oh God, that their ways, my God, shall be dark and slippery. Tonight we pray, oh God, against every wickedness, that their ways shall be dark and slippery tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, just as you did, my God, the Jeshim of Pharaoh, my God, you removed their chariots. My Father, you frustrated them, frustrate wicked people, my Father, frustrate them, my God, them that are pursuing reward ministry, my God, Pursue them tonight, my God. Pursue them tonight, oh God. Contend with our contenders tonight, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus, pursue them, my God. Set them there, set the captives free tonight. Set your children free, my God. Set them, my Father, free. Set the captives free, my Father, tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, my God. That the captive shall be set free. That the captive shall be set free. Set your children for free from captivity. Captivity, my God. Set them free from poverty. Set them free from riches, my God. Set them free, my God. From every prison, my God. That the enemy has kept them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When my father will pray. Our prayers tonight set your children free, King of Glory. Let the drinkers of blood drink their own, and let the eaters of flesh eat their own tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as according to your word, let them eat their own flesh, and let them drink their own blood until they are full. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, destroy our destroyers, destroy our destroyers tonight, fight our fighters tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, Jesus, that you may take over tonight. Eh? As we continue, like, yes, them that are sitting down to plot evil again, as that my God, frustrate their plans tonight. Eh? Frustrate their plans tonight. Eh? Let there be a wailing in the camp of the enemy tonight. Eh? Let there be wailing in the camp of the enemy tonight. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God, tonight. Eh? Let there be wailing. Eh? Let there be wailing tonight. Eh? mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, just as you did to Pharaoh, my God, you killed all the factors of Egypt, oh God, and there was a cry in Egypt, there was a cry in Egypt, let there be a cry in the camp of the enemy tonight, let there be a cry in the camp of the enemy tonight, for the sake of your church, Lord. for the sake of your children, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the mouth that have decided to follow you, glory. May you deliver them from the hands of diviners. May you deliver them from the hands of monitoring spirits. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, save them from poverty. Save them from riches, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Paul and Zina prayed 
and there was a sudden earthquake in prison which my father made the foundations by prison to break oh God tonight destroy every demonic foundation in our lives destroy demonic foundations in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus we destroy demonic foundations we destroy demonic foundations we destroy every work of Satan in our lives tonight in the mighty name of Jesus tonight we escape just like a bird escapes from the hands of the enemy from the snares of the fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh God tonight take over my God take over Jesus Christ of Nazareth my father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we give you glory we give you honor my God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth my father there is no one like you Jesus there is no one like you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth amen let us also pray that the wicked will be cut off from the land from the land of the righteous in the mighty name of Jesus and they will be uprooted from among us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth go before the Lord and ask the Lord to cut off the wickedness and ask the Lord to cut off the wicked people from our lives in the mighty name of Jesus let God uproot them uproot them with their sins in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father tonight we uproot weak, wicked people from our lives we uproot them out of their wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus we uproot their sins tonight that you can see that I yes. oh God we have come to our let there be no wickedness among us my God. Let there be no wickedness in Rio. Let there be no wickedness in our families. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we uproot every wicked place. We uproot wickedness tonight. Let there be no wickedness among us, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cut off wickedness tonight. We cut off wickedness tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cut off every wickedness that has been prepared against us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take over tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. The book of Psalms 58, 6 and 7, it says, Oh God, break the teeth of these fierce lions. May they, may they disappear like water draining away. May they be crushed like the wind on a path. Tonight, let us crush the wickedness in this ministry. Let us crush wicked people. Ask God to crush them. Ask God to crush them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, tonight, we pray again of wickedness in this ministry, my God. We pray that you may crush them tonight, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, crush them. It is your word that says that you shall crush wickedness, my Father, among us, like weeds. In the mighty name of Jesus, we crush wickedness. We crush wickedness tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we crush Jezebel tonight. We crush them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we crush witchcraft tonight. We crush poverty tonight. And we ask you to set your children free, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, of Nazareth. Oh God, we have dwelt in this mountain for so long. Today, my God, we pray that you may deliver us, my God. Deliver us from every wickedness of God. Deliver us from the hands of the enemy tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we give you glory, Lord. Let them disappear like water. Let them disappear like water down the drain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your no one says that we shall look back and we will not see them anymore. Because with the Gombe were destroy them, my father. When we look back, we shall not see them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we worship you and we honor you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration tonight, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want us to pray according to Psalm 91. That the Lord shall protect us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you have your Bible, let us go before the Lord and pray according to Psalm 91. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the, of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Pray for yourself. He is my refuge and my fortress. May God in my, my God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover me up with His feathers and under His wings. I shall be I shall take refuge. His truth shall be my shield and buckler in the mighty name of Jesus. His truth shall be the His, his truth shall be my shield and buckler in the mighty name of Jesus. You, I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that layeth waste at noonday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for the Lord shall hide me under his wings. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my at my right hand, but he shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and I see the reward of the wicked. Because I have met the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, my dwelling place. No evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near me, my dwelling place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no evil shall do it that shall come near me. No evil shall come near my children. No evil shall come near my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, because we have met our refuge in the mighty name of Jesus, for he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all his ways. In, in their hands they shall bear up me, lest I dash a foot against the stone. You shall train, I shall train upon lions and cobra, the young lions and the serpent. I shall trample underfoot. Because I have set his love upon me, because he has set his love upon me, therefore he will deliver, he will deliver me. I will set his, he will set me on high, because I have, I have known his name. He shall, he, I shall call upon the Lord, and he shall answer me. I will be with, he shall be with me in trouble. He shall deliver and honor me with long life. He will satisfy me and show me his salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for your word tonight. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We worship you and we honor you. Thank you for your deliverance upon our lives tonight, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you said you shall cut off Jezebel from among us. And today we believe that you have done it in our lives, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you, we honor you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, my Father, for the session that we have had before you, Lord. Thank you for your word that has come tonight, my Father, unto us. Thank you for your deliverance tonight, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, you have said if we repent, my Father, you are a merciful God and gracious, my God. Slow to anger, mighty Father. You, my Father, you, you had mercy upon Jonah, my God. When he was in the belly, my Father, of the fish, King of glory, you delivered him, Jehovah God. And tonight, King of glory, we have come, Jehovah God, because we are in the pit of Sheol my God. And tonight we ask you, King of glory, that you may deliver us, my God. Your word does not fall on a, go, a, a dry ground, my God. It comes, my Father, my God, to fulfill the purpose that you have sent it to do, my God. Tonight may your word fulfill its purpose in our lives, oh God. Deliver us, my Father, from the pits, my Father, that we have entered, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus, we worship you tonight. Eliminate every Jezebel from our midst, Jehovah God. 
God. We cut off Jezebel and our seed, my Father, from our midst, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray for freedom upon us, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, that no wickedness shall be found among us tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, deliver us, my Father, from, from, from poverty, my God. Deliver us, my Father, from witchcraft, Jehovah. Deliver us from every manner, my God, of wickedness, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we worship you and we adore you, God. I thank you, my Father, for your children who have come to seek you tonight, my God. Let them go home, my Father. Let them, let them go home, my Father, my God, happy, my God, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for rest round about and in their lives, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray against every counterattack of the enemy in our lives tonight, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God. Baba to Skirudi Nyumbani to Sirud the same, my God. May you, my Father, walk with us, go with us, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name name of Jesus. We worship you and we adore you tonight. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen.